George Cambosis. Man, uh, can you break down this Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight? What are the keys for both fighters to get victory? It's a, a hell of a fight, man. It's a 50-50 fight. I'm always continually going back and forth with myself. Thinking, Spence does that well, he can get the edge on Crawford. Then, no, Crawford does that well, he can get the, the edge on Spence. You know, both guys are, are, are tremendous fighters, and that's why it's such an intriguing fight. I really can't pick one. I really can't pick who's going to win this fight, and that's what's going to drive the fans towards this kind of fight. Spence is such a good body, body puncher. He's big, he's strong, he holds that defense nice and tight. But he did get caught by Ugas in, in, in uh, right. a couple of his fights ago. You know, he got caught. It looked like he got hurt. But then again, Crawford, such a good switch hitter. You know, can, can, can hurt you from any position. But again, you've seen in his career as well, he's been uh, hurt. And he did get dropped by that uh, Cal Vasquez or whatever his name was. And Gamboa, he was hurt too. Gamboa hurt too. But you know what? Things have changed, obviously, back then. Um, what's the age? Uh, Crawford's a little bit older. Yeah, I think he's like 35, 36. Six, yeah, that could come into play. But again, Crawford is, is an absolute beast, man. And so is Spencer. I, I really can't give a prediction. I think it's going to be a great battle. I think it's going to go down to the wire. I don't think anyone's going to knock each other out. Uh, I think it's going to be a real tit-for-tat kind of fight. And, you know, big respect to both guys. I, I, I think both guys are tremendous fighters. And, you know, I'm excited to watch it. July 22 myself and July uh, 29. Yeah. Uh, You're a week before. Yes, I know. So i got to, you know, I'm... Make it over there to I'm Vegas. I'm, look, I'm a big name, but I'm the, on, the I'm the entree compared to that. Look, <laughs> I, I say it the way it is. I'm, I'm real and I'm the entree compared to that kind of fight. But um, I'll be back to that level again. I've been at that level not so long ago. So uh, bring on uh, Crawford and Spence. Spence Crawford, whatever way you want to say it. I'm excited. How does one separate themselves in that fight? I think when it comes to such a, a, a high-level fight, you know, it's that, that war of attrition. You know, that who wants it that much more? Who's going to put in the extra, not 1%, but 0.1% in the gym, go that extra mile? Um, that's where it's, it's really going to make a difference, I believe. And yeah, I don't know, I feel like Crawford, just that, that work ethic, Maybe a little bit better than what Spence does, but then again, Spence is just a good fighter too. So I really can't say nothing bad about both guys. You know, like I said, I respect both guys, and I think it's it's great for the sport. And we need more better fights like this. Best fight, the best, and you know, we're gonna see the sport continue to rise, and that's what we want. There's part of me that sees like Crawford be able to counter punch and counter real well. There's another part that sees me just him being drowned out by activity of Spence. Spence walking him down and just bop, 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 bop. That's the way I see it. You know, like uh, Crawford is a very dangerous counter puncher. Yeah, he can land that, that shot from different angles and, and switch and land. But then Spence has got that high work rate. He's got that size. I think he's a, a, a little bit bigger. Um, that high guard and the body work, the level change could make a, a big you know, difference. Just going to have to wait and see. If I were to give you $1,000 cash right now, who would you put your money on? Um, <laughs> a, dr that, George. a draw. A draw. Really? I'll put it as a draw and I'll do it again. Yeah, put, yeah. It, put it as a draw. I wonder what the odds are on a draw. That's what I'm saying. I'm, if, if I'm betting the thousand, yeah. um, I'll double your thousand. I'll put my thousand as well and uh, I'll go a draw. Do you think Tim, based on his fight with uh, Ocampo and him being active, has a, a great chance, of more than a 50 50 chance of beating Jermel? No, I, I don't think it's. it's uh, his percentage goes up. Look, let's be serious. Ocampo was. was He's a fighter, but he's not, yeah, look, it's not a, 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 an amazing name. But again, it was a smart take, get another fight, keep that activity up. Obviously, they did Harrison first. They went into a campo, keep moving towards, you know, this big fight. And I think Charlo has no choice but to, to fight him. He has to fight him. He can't walk away from this fight. If he does walk away or vacate the WBA belt, it's not a good look on him. And, um, you know, they, 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 they got to get it done. And let's see what happens in that fight. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good fight. Obviously, uh, Tim, before the last two fights, you would have given Charla a, a massive edge. But the activity and obviously the inactivity of Charla has brought it a lot closer. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. and Me and Tim used to train together a long time. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's great to see someone like myself that did it, got all the belts. And now I'm coming back for my return. But he's in that situation too. So this is where it's your make or break kind of fight. Are you at that level to get all the belts? Um, or it wasn't his time. So we'll see. Yeah, you kind of like laid the the first wave, like the groundwork for all these guys coming up from Australia now. We, we are still the big, big name in, in Australian boxing, the face of Australian boxing. We've done the, the hard yards and we're back here, you know, continue putting the hard yards. But we did lay a, a big, 
you know, blueprint and, and, and a confidence where Cambosis went and did it, I can do it too. I can go and achieve it as well. Now, look, it's a little bit different. I've done it a different way. You know, didn't have the big, big support from Australia, didn't have the backing from Australia, um, like a guy like, like Tim does. But I'm proud of the way I did it and got to the top my way. And I continue to do it my way now with the big backing of Top Rank Debella and my company, Fresh Promotions. Yeah, and you showed that you can bring people over there and you can pack stadiums because I hear there's a little back and forth now that Tim wants Charlie to go over there because of the potential of a stadium fight. Yeah, it can always be done. You know, the Aussie fans uh, come out and support. Now, I was very, uh, you know, in a great situation where not only the Australian fans, but I've got a massive Greek fan base, as you saw in Melbourne. The Greeks are fanatics, they support me, they get behind me. Now, I don't know if Tim has that with the Russians uh, at this stage, but I was very uh, fortunate to have that with me and be able to fill in that stadium, pack that stadium, and we've seen it. From a guy that they didn't really promote, a guy that they didn't really they put on the back burner all the time, that was doing his thing here, until he got the belts, came out and, and, and did what he had to do. So, 40, 45,000 in the stadium... Crazy. Not not everyone can do that, you know. You like triggered a memory, like memory unlocked. And, and look, Devin, you know, full respect to him, but in that first fight, he wasn't really the big big name in Australia. I could afford anyone that would have come out to, to the stadium fight. Uh, and then in the second, obviously, when he beat me, his name really grew, and he's got. I know he's got a lot of respect uh, in Australia, and you know, like I've told him, he's got to come out to Australia and offer a fight. We've done and dusted that. <laughs> come out for a holiday. We'll uh, we'll have some fun out there. Beautiful memories, though. Because now, now thinking about that first stadium fight, I, yeah, it's, you don't see that very often in boxing. It is. You know, when, whenever you do a stadium fight, a, a mega fight like that, all the belts, the, 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 the atmosphere, you know, it, it's amazing. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Just when I walked out, you know, to, to 50 Cent on a freezing cold June 5th, uh, winter's day on a Sunday. And it was amazing. It was amazing. And, and the atmosphere was amazing. And, you know, it's, that's, that's a memory that, that I have in the past. But it's something that I want to emulate again in the future. And I think with guys like Lomachenko, guys like Javante Davis, I don't know if he would ever be able to... I don't think he can get into Australia, so that probably won't happen. But um, Lom, yeah, Lom, Lomachenko... I saw how strict they were with Bill. I don't know where he is right now, but yeah, I don't think he ain't getting in. Um, Lomachenko and a rematch with Lopez, I think are the other fights that can be done in stadiums in Australia. And I think they do even bigger numbers than what we've done in the first fight with me and Haney.